Oh, what? No. Last summer I was inspired by the Wood by Wright channel to make some bleached linseed oil. Now I know that it actually polymerized because it became cloudy after a few days in the sun, but let's go ahead and see if it will build up. I'm just going to leave a puddle of it on my workbench here. And when I get back from a little vacation, we're going to see if that's hard. Okay, so it's been about five days, I think, since I put this on. And there have been a few su surprises with this experiment, which is cool. First thing that happened is that after four days, I got back from my little vacation. And I came in here, and there was still a puddle on my workbench, which isn't that surprising because this workbench has already been saturated with boiled linseed oil, but the puddle hadn't set up at all. So I thought, well, maybe this isn't as great as a you know, finish as I expected, which is fine. However, I'd also treated these screwdrivers and they soaked up the bleached linseed oil, of course, and there was no res noticeable residue on them. Then a little storm came in, temperatures rose, they've been rather cold, uh, I've got no heat in the shop yet, and the finish cured. So here's where I applied it right here. Probably can't see much of a difference. Not much oily residue except this one spot, or I think some glue would drift anyway. So, after enough time, the bleach linseed oil does indeed provide a slight barrier. It's not like a varnish or lacquer or any, even shellac, uh, but it does eventually cure, which is better than, say, vegetable oil. Put that on something and see what kind of a mess you got even months later. So, uh, I'll put a link down below showing how I made this. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Next week, I build a table leg. <laughs>